So we made it down a draw and we're close to the biggest rams. So we're just giving them some time to settle down. So we'll get our cameras out and then move in for some closer shots with the big telephotos. The two to 500 is what I'm using. With the two to 500 I can zoom, get a bit of habitat. So if they get up on a rocky crag or something on a cliff, I can zoom out and get a great perspective or zoom in on the ram itself with just his hooves on the edge of the cliff. So this is what all the hard work was for before this trip. The walk up was, it was tough, but it wasn't bad. I uh, got up here and got almost immediately rewarded with a great encounter. So we hit a home run with the sheep, uh, some great rams, and they gave us not only great backgrounds, great behavior, um, gave us some good looks. We were able to zoom out, throw some of the vast landscape in, some of the fantastic fall color. Uh, these images are gonna be much better than I ever could have imagined, as is the view right now. Well, we're just packed up from the sheep and it worked out to be an epic photo shoot. The rams were feeding in the willows when we started and that didn't provide much of a background. But we went out on this rocky ledge, these two full, full curl rams and the background was a vista off in the distance and I am ecstatic with today's photos. When it actually happens and we get close to these rams and share their space for a couple of hours, it's, it's a privilege. And I'm, I'm so happy that we were able to get it for the podcast and also for the shorts that we're doing and just this experience that we can share with all of you. So we'll retrace our steps back up over this ridge, cross some shale, some scree, and then we'll find that sheep trail that we came up on that should be easy navigating down. So, what a phenomenal finish to today. God's country is amazing up here. I just love these vistas. Thanks for tuning in.